Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I will link my closet in the description below and my username is mcwear for you Today I have a 20-piece haul from the past few days of some killer sourcing. So I have everything from evening gowns, prom gowns, fall, summer, shoes, bras, purses, that type of stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. The first find were these really, really cool Michael Jordans from uh, winter 2017, and they are the Russell Westbrook collab, the Why Not the Why Nots, and they are in size 13 in really, really good condition. Uh, there's no heel drag, no scuffs up here. The, in fact, the only scuff that I do see is on the inside, right there. Don't know if you can see it there, right there. But other than that, they are clean and they they look great. So those were my first find, uh, Michael Jordans in size 13. All right, moving right along with shoes, that was the only men's item that I have. Next are these lovely suede red leather Talbots. And these are beautiful loafers with this horse bit and they are in a size nine and a half. Red, if you are into fashion you'll know that red is the color of shoe of 2024 you gotta have it and they are just a pop of color in lovely condition retail for over 100 and i do hope to get maybe about 40. all right next i have this little pocketbook when i first saw it i thought it was lily pulitzer and it's like a linen um floral motif and it's one of those that you just carry like that and believe it or not it's not lily pulitzer it's actually old navy so it is uh, current, it's um, in the stores right now, and I kind of want to, I want to use it before I sell it, or maybe I'll just keep it, because it is lovely, those colors, beautiful, the orange and the fuchsia pink, very roy, uh, palm royal right now, with that type of uh, floral coloring. So, okay, so next are some shoes again. These, uh, I passed on about three different visits to my local Goodwill, they were sitting there, and finally, last night I broke down and I got them because they were there and I figured it was meant to be in this lovely stone suede leather. And they are the uh, Dulce Vita, not the DVs from Target, but this is the actual Dulce Vita um, brand. Beautiful color. I'm sure this fall uh, someone will love these. And they are, they look new to me. I don't see any scuffs or any signs of even sole wear. And they are in a size, let's see if I could read the size. Where is the size? Oh, I don't see, oh, here it is, right here. And they are in a all, size eight, size eight. So they have a point toe, this lovely stone, a nice smooth zip in the back, and ooh, there you go. Can't say any more about them. <laughs> Next are these athletic morels. And this is a just a nice practical sturdy st sturdy shoe these are women's uh, they do have morels men's and they are suede leather look at all that traction if you're going hiking or if you're just going to be on your feet for a long time any service job um, these would be great for and these also retail for over 100 i would probably get about 50 or 60 for them um, and they accommodate like a wide foot easy to just slip your foot in and out of and they are a size nine and a half. Nine and a half. All right, so that's it for shoes. I have a few bras. I have a Soma bra. Soma is a very good selling bra. And this is a 34 double D. I think it retails for about $62 or $68. So I do love picking up Soma when they are in this lovely condition. And next I have a bralette a true bright red and it is walk hole size 38 um their bralettes don't do cup sizes because they're very stretchy and they accommodate all cup sizes so that's just a size 38 by walk hole all right next is a brand that i've never picked up before my daughter sells this brand and that's how i heard of it <coughs> frog stuck in my throat i'm not sick <laughs> Okay, this is Sweaty Betty. So if you're familiar with Sweaty Betty, I think they do athletic leggings and such. This is a like new sports bra. Um, I don't see any imperfections. It is your racer back style. And she is in a size, oh goodness, I don't see a size. This is what the tag looks like. 
and I will have to figure it out that size later. But see, there's the tag, Sweaty Betty, and it's just a navy sports bra. All right, next are Elaine Fisher. I love picking up linen Elaine Fisher tunics and sweaters. I've never tried any of their pants before, so I picked up these, beautiful. They are black denim, and they kind of have like a dressier sheen to them. They are denim, but they have like a sheen, kind of like an 80s sheen. Um, these are Elaine Fish Fisher, size 16 ladies, and they are black, and they are possibly a slim, I wouldn't say full on skinny, but they are a slim fit. These would look beautiful, beautiful with a like kind of an oversized white and button up with a little shell or tank. Maybe the button up is tied or left open. So pretty. So I have those in a size 16. Next I have this swimsuit, black and white, one piece polka dot, faux crossover, uh, built in cups, and it is by Denim & Co. Beach, which is a very good catalog brand in size 22W. I love this. And the nicer quality one-piece swimsuits with the skirts. If it's not a very good quality, this is a surefire way. So you are thrifting and shopping and you just lift up the skirt and the, the, the bottoms, lots of times they'll cut costs and the cheaper swimsuits will just have, this will be white and it will be kind of sheer. So if there is a little wind, oops. <laughs> But um, the more substantial quality one-piece swimsuits with the skirts will have the same fabric underneath in the panty as they do the full skirt. So just heads up on that. Learned that the hard way. <laughs> and it does have an adjustable strap for a high lift. And it basically has the soft cut bra to accommodate a larger size bust. Again, that's 22W. If you're interested in any of these things that I'm showing you, just hit up my description and you will be taken to my closet. Um, so you could view them. All right, so this is a J. Crew. The, when there's a dot underneath, that means it's the factory line, which is slightly lower end, but I've had mostly factory line of J. Crew, and I can't really tell the difference. But just for your educational purposes, that says J. Crew. And when you see little dots underneath it, whether it's Ann Taylor Loft, Banana Republic, Lane Bryant, and a bazillion other brands, if you see the little dots under it, it's their factory line, okay? So this is just a brown and uh, creamy beige, oversized pullover, long sleeves um, shirt, and it has a little feminine detail with this ruffle that I really liked. That's what caught my eye. You know what? I think if it didn't have the ruffle, I probably wouldn't have even picked it up because it needs to have a little something going for it, whether it's a good fabric or just a little bit of detail, and it's just with the buttons, and I'm gonna look to see um, what the fabric is, and let's see. So this is Current, which is very also good to pick up. It's from fall 2023, and you could see where they date their pieces, and you could find the date. So normally if an item is less than 10 years old or maybe even less than five, you wanna pick it up. If it's more, then it, you may be sitting on it. So this is just 100% cotton, which means it has a lot going for it. It's striped and like kind of nautical. It has the little feminine detail. It has the buttons and it's 100% cotton with being a good brand. So it has a lot going for it. So I hope to get about 30 for this. All right, moving right along. I have this beautiful Talbots XL. Again, nautical with the stripes, the white puff sleeves, gives a little preppy vibe. And I don't know, I may have to keep this myself or wear it a few times, it's beautiful. It's XL and it's just, it's just adorable. It looks like a little vest. Picture this with your white linen, pants, skirt, denim. I mean, this is just beautiful. Very spring summer with a little button. It has a lot of detail going for it. I love picking up towel bits. Next is um, an identical shirt that I actually just sold. This is Jones of New York, 100% linen. And you could usually find this on the Jones of New York website or Marshalls and, uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx sells it, and it's 100% linen. It's that real good, thicker quality linen, very beachy, boho uh, vibes, and this is perfect for just over your swimsuit, walking along the beach. You just want a little bit of light coverage after, um, after pooling and whatnot, going into a restaurant. This is what you want, and it's a very pale blue and white stripe. Oversized, did I say the size? It is a size. US 3X, 100% linen. I just sold one of those last week, which is why I picked up another one, okay? 
The color of this year seems to be this green. I have several of this green up in my closet. I've been selling this color and I have more. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the Palm Royal. I keep on mentioning that um, Apple TV, um, I don't know, series, so to speak, show, because everybody is talking about it right now and I don't even have Apple TV, but I'm hearing about it. So this color is was all over that show. So this is Talbot's 100% cotton plus size 1X little Cardi with pockets in that true Kelly green. The lighting's not great, but it's like that true Kelly green color. And moving along with that color is this again, Talbot's, the perfect Talbot's tee. And it's this XL and it is 95% cotton, 5% spandex. Again, preppy vibes and a little like tablecloth, very Floridian looking. And it's just a pretty check, nice and stretchy, beautiful with denim. All right, moving right along with that same green is this. Again, these two colors, when I saw it like that, I was thinking Lily Pulitzer, but it is Talbot's and it's Talbot's 1X. Someone, it looks like purchased it on sale. It retailed for 79 and the sale price was 64. And I guess they decided not to uh, buy it or buy it and not wear it. Beautiful pink trim. I really like this a lot. If it wasn't new with tags, I'd probably keep it for myself. It is just the sweetest little thing. Those two colors look good on everybody. So beautiful and so summery. All right, next is a little item and it's a turquoise and black. I never pick up a dress barn. This is like a vintage um, very early 2000s uh, dress barn. And I think I'm probably going to keep this piece for myself because um, it's that fabric that's kind of, I think it's Ming Wang that, ha that uses this fabric. It's like a more sturdier knit. And I thought this would look beautiful with some black trousers and maybe a blazer or just as is. So pretty. All right, next I have a Chico's maxi dress, red and white motif, and it is a size two. Chico's uses vanity sizing, uh, zero through I think four. And their size two is large, size three is XL, and you get the point. So this is just a full length maxi. I don't think I've ever sold any of their maxis before. I don't see any, any slits, nice and modest. And uh, just a pull over and go, red and white Chico's, probably retailed for about 119. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, um, mother of the bride, showery, prom type dresses. And this beauty is a Roman size 34W. And I think that's maybe a 5X, I believe. I will put measurements in um, my listings, but I think 34W is their 5X. And it's rose gold lace, um, one piece, and it has a very, very light pink blush underneath zips up and there you go just gorgeous and i'm not seeing any slit at all so there you go very long i'm thinking it's probably about 62 inches in length all right next i have a brand that i've only uh oh no this is a different brand okay this is azazi and these are very very popular um wedding um wedding what am i trying to say bridal <laughs> um maid of honor bridesmaid that type of thing it's a true powder blue baby blue zips up it's the sweetest little color ever it has a slit it is a true size six and size six usually has a 34 inch bust and a 28 inch waist but of course i will have all the measurements in the description but just gorgeous if you have any wedding to go to and you are going to be in that wedding uh these dresses are just perfect and it has the rubber right here, which we appreciate because that it has the cup, so you do not need to wear a bra, and it has that rubber for a lift, and it stays in place. So that's what she looks like, a Zazzy, size six. And then I have, this is what I've never, I think I've picked up maybe once before, and this tag is called, this brand is Birdie Gray. So this is what the tag looks like, Birdie Gray. It's also pretty popular, and this is a size, what size are you? A size medium, so I guess Birdie Gray is small, medium, large, and extra large, and it is a beautiful, beautiful blush, kind of lightweight, 
sheer underneath the bosom right here. So you just have a little peekaboo of um, skin showing. And I wasn't gonna pick this up because there was a little self tanner or lipstick right there, but I know I can get that off. And so even if I couldn't get it off, I probably might have picked it up and then just, um, I'll just you know say that say what that is and whatnot. So this is a size medium, which I'm gonna say it's about a size eight or 10. No slits, lightweight, very pretty like sheer overlay, full length. Uh, cheaper dresses like to cut costs and when they have the um, slips underneath them, lots of times they only come to the knee, which is very frustrating because when you sit down, but this is a nicer full length. The slip is as long as the uh, sheer. And so that's what that looks like. And then the last one I got, oh, let's see. She is beautiful. Again, uh, like a true mauve color and birdie gray. And it is, uh, oh, this one is a size extra large. This is what the tag looks like. Birdie gray, extra large. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. And you know what's so great about this one is I've never seen bridesmaid dresses with pockets built in. So I don't know if um, the other one didn't have that, so I don't know. But there is pockets on each of the sides. And it, again, it has the full length slip underneath, the sheer overlay, spaghetti straps. Um, the bust has the built in, there's no underwire, but it does have the built in uh, pads in there. And like I said, it's an XL. I'm gonna say maybe a size 14 um, or larger 12. Step in style, zips up the back, blush color. And I think that is it, guys. That was 20 pieces. And I thank you so much for watching. If you were interested in anything, um, comment below, share, and whatnot. And, I, and check out the description where I will have um, reselling tools and things like that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.